Let us see how their mob manners fare against the shock of the conduct. Storm, the iconic leader of the X-Men, is a character instantly recognizable by her majestic white hair and piercing blue eyes. However, in comics and some X-Men adaptations, her eyes occasionally turn white when she accesses the weather manipulation powers. This seemingly minor detail has sparked curiosity among fans, leading to questions about the origin and significance of this transformation. Could Storm's white eyes be a sign of a deeper power or potential danger? Without further ado, let me welcome you to the Fightoverse. The Origins of Storm's White Eyes The origins of Storm's White Eyes can be traced back to her first appearance in the pages of Giant Size X-Men No. 1 in 1975, where she was introduced as a new member of the team. It was in this seminal issue that readers were first treated to the sight of Aurora Monroe's eyes, shifting to a brilliant opaque white as she harnessed her mutant abilities. According to research, this visual cue was the brainchild of legendary X-Men artist Dave Cockrum, who envisioned Storm's eyes as a physical manifestation of her connection to the forces of nature. As Cockrum explained himself, the way I see it, when Storm uses her powers, her eyes turn white because she's tapping into the energies of the Earth. It's like she's seeing the world in a different way, through the eyes of the goddess. This concept of Storm's eyes reflecting her divine elemental powers has become a core aspect of the character's visual identity, setting her apart from the other mutants and cementing her status as a force to be reckoned with. The symbolic significance of the white eyes, beyond the practical purpose of signaling the activation of Storm's powers, the research suggests that the white eyes hold deeper symbolic significance within the X-Men mythos. As the descendant of an ancient line of African priestesses, Storm's connection to the natural world and the divine feminine is a crucial part of her identity. When Storm's eyes shift to their luminous, otherworldly hue, it's a visual cue that she's tapping into her ancestral heritage and the mystical energies that flow through her. The white eyes become a physical manifestation of her role as a conduit for the forces of nature, a living embodiment of the goddesses that her people have revered for generations. This symbolic resonance has only grown stronger over the years, as Storm has taken on a more prominent leadership role within the X-Men. Her white-eyed gaze has become a symbol of her authority, her unwavering determination, and her commitment to protecting both her fellow mutants and the natural world they inhabit. But the significance of Storm's eyes extend beyond the purely symbolic. Research indicates that this visual transformation also serves a practical purpose, granting the weather-wielding mutant enhanced senses and perception. When her eyes turn white, Storm is able to see the world in a different way, perceiving the flow of energy and the currents of the elements that are invisible to the naked eye. This heightened awareness allows her to more precisely control and manipulate the weather, making her an even more formidable force on the battlefield. Moreover, the white eyes are often accompanied by a surge in Storm's mutant abilities, as she taps into the full extent of her power to unleash the devastating lightning strikes, torrential downpours, and other weather-based attacks. In these moments, the piercing gaze of the goddess becomes a harbinger of the storm to come, a warning to her enemies on the raw power she commands. Beyond the comics, artistic license, and character design, the decision to depict Storm with white eyes in some media adaptations, like cartoons or video games, might be purely aesthetic. It could be a stylistic choice by the creators to make her appear more powerful or intimidating when using her abilities. The white eyes create a stark contrast with her dark skin and blue hair, drawing attention to her face and emphasizing her focus. Storm's initial comic book appearance in the 1960s consistently depicted her with blue eyes. The white eyes weren't introduced until later issues, and even then, their use wasn't always consistent. This inconsistency suggests that the white eyes weren't originally intended as a core part of her character design. The Enduring Legacy of Storm's White Eyes as the X-Men franchise has evolved over the decades, Storm's white eyes have remained a constant and iconic visual element, a signature that has become as recognizable as Wolverine's adamantium claws or Cyclops' optic blasts. The search results suggest that this enduring visual motif has contributed to Storm's status as one of the most beloved and influential X-Men characters of all time. Her white-eyed gaze has become a symbol of her strength, her resilience, and her unwavering commitment to the cause of mutant rights and human-mutant coexistence. Whether she's leading the X-Men into battle, confronting her enemies, or simply using her powers to protect the innocent. Storm's white eyes have become a rallying cry, a reminder of the immense power that lies within her and the responsibility she bears as a guardian of the natural world. In the ever-evolving tapestry of the X-Men mythos, Storm's white eyes have become a defining feature, a visual shorthand that instantly evokes the power and majesty of this iconic mutant heroine. From the origins as a creative choice by the legendary Dave Cockrum, to their current status as a symbol of Storm's divine connection to the forces of nature, these luminous orbs have become an 
integral part of the character's identity, a physical manifestation of the goddess within. As the X-Men continues to captivate audiences across various media, the piercing gaze of Storm will undoubtedly remain a constant, a reminder of the enduring appeal of this powerful and complex mutant hero. For in the end, the wide eyes of the goddess are not just a visual flourish, but a testament to the indomitable spirit and the unwavering determination that has made Storm one of the most iconic and beloved X-Men of all time. Magneto's bold look in X-Men 97 isn't just a fashion statement. It's a declaration of power and purpose that speaks volumes about the upcoming series. As the master of magnetism, the prince of polarity, and the mangler of metal, Magneto has always embodied strength and sophistication. But with this revamped costume, he's taking his iconic style to a whole new level. A sleeveless shirt adorned with a striking M down the front, paired with the matching cape, sleek spandex, gloves, and boots. It's a look that screams confidence and command, befitting a mutant of Magneto's caliber. While mere mortals might struggle to pull off such a daring ensemble, Magneto effortlessly owns it with the swagger of a true style god. But there's more to Magneto's makeover than meets the eye. Behind the flashy exterior lies her deeper symbolism, hinting at the journey that awaits in X-Men 97. As Magneto strides onto the screen in his revamped attire, he's signaling a shift in the dynamics of power and allegiance within the mutant world. His attire isn't just about fashion, it's about staking his claim as a force to be reckoned with, a leader whose influence will shape the course of events to come. So, while the internet may be ablaze with chatter about Magneto's striking new look, what surprised so many people was the first look at Magneto's redesigned costume. Instead of the intimidating crimson and purple helmet, cloak, and bodysuit, he's wearing a much more heroic costume. That, my friends is exactly the point, because Magneto is not the villain, but the hero of X-Men 97. To understand the implications of Magneto's new costume, you have to understand where the show left off. In the finale of X-Men's fifth season, Charles Xavier had been attacked on national television, and he was dying from the psychic assault. His only chance at survival was for Lalandra to get him treated by her people within the Shi'ar Empire. The catch was that Xavier would live but only if he remained with the Shi'ar. The ending left the X-Men without their namesake and leader. In the episode's closing scene, we see them standing alongside Magneto, who had come to see his old friend. It left fans with no closure until now. Marvel announced that X-Men 97 was already getting a second season, which is meant to feel like season 6 and 7 of the 1992 original. It'll pick up where X-Men the Animated Series left off, with Magneto standing with the X-Men and that is why he has a new costume. With Xavier clinging to life in space and the X-Men turning to Magneto, this is the perfect costume for Eric Lenscher, created by the legendary artist John Romita Jr. Magneto first wore the suit in 1985's Uncanny X-Men number 200. At this time, Claremont took the villain on a new route by having him join the X-Men and soon thereafter assuming the role of headmaster at Xavier's School of Gifted Youngsters. To commemorate the occasion, he sported a new look that showed off his ripped arms and an excessively large letter M on the chest. The ensemble is complete with evening gloves that were fashionable for the time. It wasn't the happiest of occasions. At the same time that he rocked a new look, he was being captured by Freedom Force. The government-sponsored villains had apprehended Magneto and thus began the trial of Magneto. This was all foretold in Marvel Comics last year, when the editorial staff dusted off the concept for another round of the trial of Magneto, who was accused of murdering Scarlet Witch in an unforgettable story. As the 85 story goes, Magneto's heroic ascent began with Secret Wars. When the Beyonder abducted the heroes and villains of Earth-616, the all-powerful cosmic god sorted his living action figures into two piles, heroes and villains, naturally. It was a revelatory moment of Magneto, as he was placed with the heroes because the Beyonders saw that M's goals were selfless, since he wanted to protect mutant kind. When they all returned to Earth, it made Magneto rethink his choices. In the end, he joined the X-Men and became the school's headmaster. That's when he got a new suit to mark the change in character. So, what do you think of Storm's luminous orbs? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe for more theories and info. This has been your host. Welcome to the Fighterverse.